Machine Sync using Gen 4 displays during harvest allows you to synchronize and control the speed and position of the chasing tractor from the combine while unloading on the go. Automating this process reduces the risk associated with machine-to-machine -machine interactions and allows operators to focus on the operation at hand. To start, on both the harvester and the tractor, navigate to the sharing app via menu, applications, sharing. Ensure that data sync and sharing options are toggled on. Using in-field data sharing allows your combines and tractors to share machine location, coverage maps, guidance lines, grain tank fill levels, wireless network passwords, unloading auger status, and will also auto-select leader machines for machine sync. To get all combines and chasing tractors in the same work sharing group, all machines will need to have the same operation type set up. The harvesting operation can be set up on your chasing tractor by configuring a virtual implement through the work setup app and selecting harvesting as the operation type. In both the combine and the tractor, navigate to the machine sync app via menu, applications, machine sync. On the combine, turn on machine sync. If your wireless settings are not already configured, you need to configure them here to allow other machines to connect. In the Combine's advanced settings, you can adjust the nudge increments. Now, on the following tractor, turn on Machine Sync. Connect to the leading machine by selecting the network section of the page, and then connecting to the Combine's local wireless network. If you have more than one Combine operating in the same field, Machine Sync will automatically connect to the closest Combine as you approach the operational zone. In the advanced settings for the follower, you can adjust the nudge increments and speed sensitivity. Controlled traffic mode allows the chaser bin tractor to remain on its own run line throughout the unloading process, as opposed to coming in closer to the combine to unload. At any time while setting up machine sync, within the run page, you can select the status area to understand what unmet requirements you may have before you can enable machine sync. With the chaser bin tractor positioned next to the combine, either during operation or statically, you can set the home point for the chasing tractor from either machine. The home point represents the position the tractor will automatically return to when machine sync is engaged within the operational zone and can be reset at any time by selecting the set home point button. The orange box visible on the map preview is called the operational zone. Speed and direction of the chasing tractor can be synchronized and controlled by the combine once it has entered this operational zone. With machine sync on, the network connection setup and the home point set, you're ready to begin using machine sync. On the chasing tractor, it is usually best to configure a max speed that is double the expected harvesting speed. As the chasing tractor accelerates and enters the operational zone of the combine, the operator can engage machine sync by pressing the auto track button. The tractor will then automatically navigate to the defined home point within the operational zone. While navigating to the home point, the status will show as acquiring and then change to tracking as the tractor reaches the home point. The tractor is now synchronized with the combine and both operators have the ability to nudge the chasing tractor position as required. When CTF mode is enabled, you will only be able to nudge forward and backwards so that the chasing tractor always remains on the established wheel tracks. After unloading, there are a few ways you can disengage machine sync. You can either adjust your set speed bump your shift lever up or down or manually turn away from the combine. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.